Hello everyone and welcome to Under the Canopy presented by Pro Health Physicians, a part of OptumCare with additional support by Liberty Bank. This immersive exhibition, open for a limited time at the Connecticut Science Center, explores the most diverse ecosystem on the planet, our rainforests, and the amazing creatures who call it home. While the exhibition features over a dozen animals from all over the world, today I am joined by one of the wildlife educators who has brought a very special guest with them for us to learn more about. Let's go see who they have. Well, hello everybody. We're here in the enclosure of the Two Toad Sloth. And uh, our wildlife expert, Sean, is going to tell us a little bit about this, our friend. Yes, this is Romeo. This is our Linnaeus two-fingered sloth. These guys actually do have three toes, so it is more correct to call them the two-fingered sloth. Oh, okay. So Romeo is from Brazil and South America. These guys are really interesting animals. Yeah, what are their... Um... I guess lifestyles, like I mean, sloths we think of as being lazy. Are they in fact uh, lazy creatures? Do they spend their, their whole day sleeping? They aren't actually too lazy as they might have the reputation for. These guys are pretty intelligent. They conserve their energy, which means being such a slow animal, these guys actually survive in the wild better than being faster. Really? Yes. So how, how is being slow an advantage? So moving really slow, sloths live up in the trees and really tall trees. And this allows them to be hidden from predators more easily. They won't be as seen as easily as uh, an, an animal moving on the ground, per se. Oh, right. I see. So like kind of like a camouflage? So yes. Uh, sloths do also have algae and fungus on their backs. In the wilds, as you can see, Romeo doesn't have any algae or fungus because he's in human care and they just don't get it in human care. But that camouflage does provide them a great deal of protection. I see. Tell us a little bit more about its coat. I mean, it, it's a very, very thick fur. Does it uh, ever take a bath or anything like that? <laughs> um, so these guys do have really great deals of fur on them, but they actually I see it's spending a lot of time upside down. Is that typical for the sloth? That is very normal. That is actually their most comfortable position to be in as a sloth. Oh, so okay. they rely on being upside down to digest all, the, all their food and for sleeping as well. How often does it go on the ground? So that's a great question. Sloths actually go down to the ground to use the bathroom. And they can go quite a long time without using the bathroom as well. They can go up to about three weeks three weeks without going to the bathroom? Yes. Okay, boy. <laughs> Talk about holding it. And this is because their predators are on the ground. Uh, ocelots, which are wild cats, mm -hmm. are some of their main predators. And if they had to go down to the ground to use the bathroom every day, that would be a good chance of running into one. Right, right. That makes a lot of sense. Does it know how to swim? They do know how to swim. Yes, uh, they are known to be excellent swimmers, but they don't like to be on the ground. Uh, oh, okay. That is their most uncomfortable position. Right, right. So Romeo's got this very cute wet nose, kind of reminds me of a, a dog's nose. Can you tell me a little bit about its, uh, its senses? Yes, so Romeo actually has pretty terrible eyesight and hearing. Okay. So the main sense that they rely on is smell. Okay. So right now he's smelling the zucchini and he's choosing to ignore it. <laughs> I guess uh, just like uh, kids sometimes who don't want to eat their vegetables. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Although Romeo does love a good zucchini. Oh, yeah. I guess he's got a full belly. Wow, that's what an amazing creature. So um, are sloths endangered? They are endangered. There are only six species of sloth left in the world. Oh gosh, so um, 
So to help protect sloths, what can we do to help? Yeah, there's many things we can do. We can try and be as energy efficient as possible. Uh, not leaving outlets plugged in when they don't need to be, not leaving our cars idling, and also looking for the Rainforest Alliance logo, which can be found on the backs of products in different supermarkets. Oh, nice. And this Rainforest Alliance logo proves that there was no damage done to the rainforest to create those products. Gotcha. So if we protect the rainforest, then we're also protecting not only Romeo, but all the creatures there. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Well, this has been an amazing experience hanging out with Romeo. Thank you so much for showing to us. Yeah, no problem. And if you'd like to see Romeo, come visit the Under the Canopy exhibit at the Connecticut Science Center. We'd love to see you there. Take care. Thank you all for joining us today. And be sure to follow along on all of the Science Center's social media to not miss any of our upcoming animal encounters as we explore more animals who live under the canopy.